Hello friends, welcome to my channel Grammar and Bhai and today let's solve specimen paper 13th of class 11 from total English book. So as usual I am going to discuss directly from the question number 3. So you go through by the question number 1 and 2. Let me directly begin from the question number 3. So in question number 3 the first sentence is complete. We have to complete the second sentence. So let's begin. First one, if you do not improve your attitude towards work, you will not progress. So the second sentence would be, unless you improve your attitude towards work, comma, you will not progress. B, do not talk so loudly, Minu. You will wake up everyone in the house, she yes. said. So the second sentence would be, he told Minu not to talk so loudly, otherwise, she would wake up everyone in the house. Number C. Baiva wanted to report on the war in spite of the danger. So the second sentence would be, although it was dangerous, comma, Baiva wanted to report on the war. D. I might fail the test, in which case I will probably reappear next year. So the second sentence would be, if I fail the test, comma, I will probably reappear next year. Number E, how did the fluctuation in the stock market affect him? So the answer will be, what effect did the fluctuation in the stock market have on him? And at the end, question mark. Second, fill the blank with a suitable word. So the first one. I called on the director yesterday. B. The old grandmother could not call up past events. C. Mina carried on talking until father came. D. Courage will carry a man through difficulties. E. Finally, the truth has come out. F. The expenses of marriage came to a large sum. G. The soldiers were ordered by the captain to fall in. H. The number of admissions has fallen off this year. Dirt often brings on disease. He has to bring up three children. Next, number three here. Fill in the blanks in the passage given below with the appropriate form of the verb given in brackets. So you read the passage. Let me provide you the answers. The first one will be rises, second fill, third sing, fourth opens, fifth blooms, sixth moved, seventh see, eighth hear, ninth come, and tenth illuminate. Next question number four here. You have to read the entire passage and then you have to answer some of the questions. So you read the passage. Let me provide you the solutions. So the first one. So here you have to find the similar word meaning from the passage. So the first one, dirty, which means dingy. Second, fixed, means fastened. Third, reverated, which means echoed. Number B, here you have to select the correct sentence of the given options. First one, room. So here option D could be taken. His designs are good, but there is still room for improvement. Second, walls. Here option A could be taken. We have to break down the walls of mistrust between the two groups. Third, footsteps. So here option A could be taken. She wanted to be a doctor following her mother's footsteps. Second, here answer the following questions in your own words as briefly as possible. So the first one, what was it that made the narrator think that there was ghosts in the next room? So the answer could be, the sound of the whirl of a billiard ball at night as if someone was playing the game of billiards in the urgent room where the narrator was staying, made him think that there must be ghosts as the room was not occupied by anyone. 
B. What did the cook tell the narrator about the dark bungalow that confirmed the narrator's suspicions about the ghosts? So the answer will be the cook told the narrator that the present dark bungalow was a billiards room 10 or 20 years ago and one of the guests, a sahib, had died on the billiards table while playing the game. This confirmed the narrator's suspicion that there must be ghost in the form of the sahib's spirit. C. Explain briefly how the narrator has created a mysterious atmosphere in the passage. So the answer will be, the narrator has created a mysterious atmosphere in the passage in the following ways. So the first one, creating an eerie silence by describing the dark bungalow with vacant rooms, no lamps and only candles to light the place. Second, the lamp is the bathroom, making strange shadow into the room. Third, the outside weather with the rain and wind making strange sounds by striking against the window pan. Number three, here summarize how the narrator made and then unmade the ghost story, as mentioned in paragraphs two to nine. And here you have to write exactly 100 words in a connected passage. So the answer could be, the narrator was staying in a dark bungalow. As he was preparing to sleep, he heard the sound of someone playing billiards in the vacant adjacent room. The narrator suspected there must be ghosts. In the morning, the cook confirmed the narrator's suspicion. He said that the dark bungalow was once a billiards room and a sahib had died on the billiards table while playing the game. The narrator unmade the ghost when he realized the sound of the billiards ball resulted from a rat running inside the ceiling cloth and the wind shaking the loose window bolt and if you think the video is helpful to you please subscribe the channel and like the video